Hello and welcome back to Penguin Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous little gift box. Um, it contains two of the very small lint bunny rabbits. Um, it's perfect for Easter. Um, two just fit in there perfectly so it's quite small um, and I've just fastened it with some gorgeous ribbon. So if you'd like to see how to make this please keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need is your scoring board and some designer series paper. I'm using some from the Sweet Soiree collection. Um, it's our speciality paper so it's got some lovely foil effect on it. And the size of that is seven inches by five and a quarter. So we'll do our scoring first and we'll do it on the long side. So you need to score it half an inch, one and a half inches, three and three quarter inches and four and three quarter inches. As usual, all dimensions will be on my blog, um, so don't worry about writing them down. And then turn it 90 degrees, and on the short side, you need to do uh, one inch and four and a quarter inches. Okay, and that is all the scoring you will need to do. So we'll do some folding and burnishing first, and then we'll do some cutting. So just go along all of your score lines um, and burnish these. It is quite thick, so you will need to put a little bit of pressure on it just to make it uh, fold fully. This paper is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it really is perfect for sort of spring and Easter time. Um, so hopefully you like it for this gift box. So we've folded and burnished all of our score lines. We now need to do a little bit of trimming. So grab your paper snips. And I don't know what's the best way to see it, maybe, can you see there, I've got two squares and two squares at the top. So on these two squares here, we're going to cut them out and wedge them. So I'll do that first and then I will show you. And we're going to wedge them in. I'm wedging these in quite a bit for this specific box um, and you'll see why in a second because of the way it goes together. So we're going to do that on both sides. So take your time and get your straight, uh, your lines neat, as they will be on a shoe. Okay. So hopefully you can see what we've done there. We've done those um, four squares. The next bit is at the top here. So in this last fold we've got these two bits, we need to remove the square and the rectangle on both corners. So again, just be careful doing this as it is on shoe. I really love this little box, it's so cute. Um, and with the rabbits inside I think it's just really cute for anyone. It's a lovely little gift for a couple maybe if you're just going to see them or just a little nice uh, gift. Okay. So we've now cut everything away. I'm just going to grab some big scissors. Big scissors sound like a child scissors and adult scissors. I'm just going to grab some larger scissors. And this is the front of the box here with the flap. So it folds together like this. So I'm just going to take some off. So the back here, these two tabs, I'm just going to cut a little bit off, just a slither just helps when putting the box together that's all okay and I'm also going to take just a little bit off these two tabs so hopefully you can see what shape we've got so far <clears throat> so you're going to need a corner rounder um, Stamping Up unfortunately don't do one anymore but there's lots of makes that do um, I'm using a one inch corner rounder and that is just on that top flap and then the other thing we're going to need is a half inch punch as we're going to make a little thumb hole so eye this up where the middle is at the back um, just eye that up okay so the next bit is we're going to need to use our dies and this is the easter medallions thinlets and we're going to be using this one here this lovely little shape. So if I grab my big shot, hopefully it'll fit in view. It will just about. So I've got my metallic, not metallic, magnetic plate on. And just make sure you've got it the right way. So the one where we've got the flaps, it's the big rectangle next to that. And all you're gonna do is eye it up. Turn my plate around. 
all you're going to do is iron it up um, in the middle. Again, you can measure it if you want. I'm just going to iron it in. And run that through. I tend to go through forwards and backwards just to make sure it's gone through this thicker paper. Okay. Put your big shot out the way. So, there we have our centre cutter. I'm just going to put this die away. Oh, wrong packet. So I don't lose it. So the next thing you need is your window sheet. Um, and I've pre-cut a little bit, but I've lost it now because it's um, transparent. Where have I put that? <laughs> oh, there it is. So what you need to make sure is that, as you can see, that is the height of our box. So you need to make sure your window sheet is that size so it can be no bigger really than two and a quarter inches and then it needs to be long enough to hang over i know it's not great to see transparent so i've done it long enough so i can put some fast views down each side okay so just make sure it's clean there's nothing on it and then i'm going to be using my fine tip glue and my fast fuse so i'm going to run fast fuse as i say down the two sides as close as i can get it and then with my fine tipped glue, all I'm going to do is put a couple of dabs, three dabs on each side, just to give it that extra bit of hold. Um, make sure you always put your lid back on your fine tip glue as it does dry very quickly. So all I'm going to do is line that up and push down. Okay, it should stick very quickly. So all that's doing is... Hopefully you can see that reflection there. We're creating our little window. Okay, so now we're ready to actually glue the box together. So as this is the front here, we need to put glue on these four tabs. So not the ones that are going to be on the front. So I'm going to use my fast views. So try and get it nice and neat to the edge. And I tend to put two rows of fast views on just to make sure. And the same on the other side just to make sure it's stuck so we've put fast views on four of the tabs so it's those bottom four and the first thing we're going to do is put our back one with the glue on over the top of the little square one and line up the bottom okay and do the same on the other side okay so now we've got this shape, what we need to do now is fold up the front and stick the sides over, okay? So line those up again and stick those over. Okay, so there we have a little box and you'll see that the lid closes. So let's put our two tiny little lint bunny rabbits in it. And I think you'll agree they do look gorgeous in here. At that so pretty so you can leave it like that um you could add a sentiment or some ribbon i think i'm going to try and add some ribbon to this one so i've got a piece of our white organza ribbon and i'm going to try and do a corner um sort of feature so we'll see i'm just finding the middle and then what i'm going to do is lay it over the bottom right hand corner and take the ribbon round the back and up each side keeping it flat to the front and then I'm going to tie a bow um, you all know what my bows are like they are definitely not the neatest um, but hopefully it will go to plan today That's not my worst bow, so I'm just going to trim the edges with my paper snips. And pull the lid up as I've just pushed it in with my fingers. And there we go. So a gorgeous little gift box. And 
as I say, it doesn't need the ribbon, but I think it just adds something a little bit extra. And the little bunnies look like they're kissing. <laughs> so there you go, a beautiful little gift got box for Easter. Um, you could put anything in this really, but I think it's it's really stunning. As usual, all my details will be listed below. Uh, my blog is www.penguincrafts.co.uk. Please give this a thumbs up if you like and subscribe. Talk to you soon, guys.